Hello everyone, Ken here, back with another video for you. Today, I want to talk about a serious topic. I recently had some of my work plagiarized. I spoke with some other data science creators and found that they'd faced similar problems with others copying their work. At first, I was extremely mad. How could someone take the hard work that I've done and claim it as their own? After I cooled down a little bit, I sat down and reflected on the whole issue. I also reached out to the person that copied my work and asked for the reasoning behind it. It might be hard to believe, but I found that this person didn't realize that what they had done was wrong. I think that this is a bigger problem than just someone using my work as their own. I don't think that there's a clear definition about what plagiarism is outside of the school context and in the true data science realm. In this video, I'll do my best to set the record straight about what plagiarism is, I'll give you some clear guidelines on how to avoid plagiarism in your work. And I'll also talk about some of the negative consequences for this type of behavior in the real world and not in the school setting. First, what is plagiarism? Pretty much all of the resources that I looked at suggested it. it's when you take someone else's work or ideas and pass them off as your own. In data science, it's extremely common to use other people's code. That's why there's so much ambiguity about this whole topic. I copy quite a bit of code myself for my projects. I've even directly used someone else's scraper in my data science project from scratch video series. In this circumstance, I made it abundantly clear where and from who I got that code from. In most cases, the best way to avoid plagiarism is to clearly cite your sources. I recommend that you err on the side of caution. If you're not sure if you should cite or not, you might as well just cite it anyway and hedge your bets, save yourself some trouble later. People really appreciate it when you share their work as well. The next way to avoid plagiarism is to make your project substantially different from the other ones that are out there. There are two main ways to do this. The first is that you can use a completely different data source. The second is that you can use a different algorithmic approach on a common data set. Again, if you're only making small changes to the data or the algorithms, you should cite where you got the source material. And honestly, if you're even getting inspiration from something, you should cite it anyway. An example would be if you were to replicate the project that I did where I scraped glass door salaries of data scientists. Let's say you wanted to do the same thing for your country or for a different position. In this case, the core work is not viewed as substantially different and I'd recommend citing where your work came from. If you did a project that was somewhat similar, but used a very different data source, let's say you were scraping professional baseball player salaries. This would be a completely different web scraper on a different website, and you were doing a similar process here. I think it would be nice if you cited my work, but what all of this is built on would be fundamentally different. In terms of the projects that go on this channel, they're specifically designed to give you examples of the types of things that are possible. They should be used to help you come to your own unique ideas. It's fine if you follow along, but the act of following along with the video, even if you rewrite each line of code on your own, doesn't mean that the idea behind the work is yours. I'll definitely take some fault here as well. I haven't been as abundantly clear about that as I probably should have been. I don't personally care much about getting credit. What I care more about is the integrity of the data science process here. As someone that interviews data scientists, how can I be confident that someone's qualified if I don't know if they had actually done the work on their projects themselves? This is what breaks the system for those who are really putting in good work and creating their own unique projects. I also would like to help any of you that watch my channel to avoid the negative consequences of plagiarism. If an employer finds that you copied a project or an idea from someone else when you're applying, this is grounds for being cut loose from the interview process or an immediate termination. Worse yet, if they find out that you don't actually have the skills associated with a project that you put forward, this could have negative consequences currently in your job, but also for future employability as well. At a larger scale, if companies do this, even if you're an individual contributor at a company, there's potential legal implications of millions and millions of dollars. One thing that I've stressed a lot in recent videos is how important it is to network and build your brand to land a job in data science. Even though you might think that, hey, 
if this is one off, other people probably won't hear about it. That might not be the case. You never know who's connected in what scenarios. I think a great cautionary tale is that of Siraj Raval. I really looked up to him as a data science YouTuber, but his need to take credit for work has had extremely negative consequences for his brand and in turn for his personal finances. I think that he's realized the mistakes that he's made and that he's turned a corner, but it's a long road to repairing his image. I believe a lot of the plagiarism out there comes from personal doubt. People think that they need to have done all of their own work and have to come up with all of these unique thoughts and crazy solutions to stand out to employers. In truth, the real skill that employers are looking for is that you have the ability to work with code that's not yours and adapt to what other people have written. They expect you to use other people's work to give them credit and to expand upon it. One of the most important skills that you can have as a data scientist is being able to clearly document your code. That's one of the things that I think any employer looks for is how well do they comment it? How well do they cite it? How replicable is it? It's actually a very positive thing to be building your work off of the great work of other people. This stigma around getting credit is a complete myth in my opinion. You'll have more personal success and more career success if you share your triumphs with your peers and with the greater community. If you think about it, we wouldn't have incredible data science libraries like Pandas, Scikit-Learn, uh, NumPy, if there wasn't a community and if people weren't sharing freely, if it wasn't open source. To summarize, cite your work if there's even a shadow of a doubt. You can also avoid this by doing projects that are substantially different. You can do this by using different data, or by ordering your methods in a different way than you've seen before. Finally, collaborating and using resources is a positive thing. You should embrace it. For the person that copied my work, again, I honestly don't think that they had ill intentions. They were quite young and they have a lot to learn. I'm glad that this happened with me and not later in the process where this could have had really, really negative consequences for this person's career. Hopefully this video helps to cut through some of the ambiguity around this topic it can help prevent some of these issues in the future. As usual, thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.